I'm currently going to school at a, at a university in Los Angeles and of cities like this that we see here behind these accomplishments of our ancestors, we see them as um, being not ours. We see them as um, they're being taught to us as that's what those Indians built. Uh, we're not being told that this is what we built, what our ancestors built. And that's something that's been standing out to me because here as, we, as we've as we been visiting these sites, uh, starting in Jalisco, um, the, the the idea is still there, the, the way of teaching is still there, of introducing this these beautiful sacred sites, these teocalis, they present it to us in the sense that that's what those those Totonacs did, that's what those uh, uh, Mayans did, that's what those Aztecs built. Um, in no sense are they trying to introduce it to us as this is what the people of Mexican, Central America, and Native American descent people have, uh, were building prior to the European invasion. And it's something that uh, is, is sad to see here, and it's sad to see that that's what's going on in our classrooms as well, whether you're in a middle school or high school, uh, or attending college or university, they don't, uh, when they, when they introduce these, they, when we're talking about these, um, this subject and, and when we're talking about these ancient sites, uh, it's introduced to the audience, uh, whether they're people of Mexican, Central American descent or people of other nationalities, they're presented as that's, this is what, uh, the, the Indians of this, of this, uh, region built, um, so once again using the word Indian which means the people of India which we're not but nonetheless my point is that they're not presenting it to us as this is what our ancestors did prior to the European invasion and so I mean it'll be a we need to to be introduced to these accomplishments of our ancestors as this is what we did as a people this is what we were doing prior to the European invasion and you know starting at middle school you know um, you know, before that, with our parents, our parents should be telling us this, but unfortunately, our parents haven't been taught our history, and which is the purpose of this video, which is the purpose of uh, the, the the series of videos that we'll be sharing with you. So, you know, that's for you, young students, older students, um, that you know, when we do learn about our history, that we got to see it as that's who we are, that's what we built prior to the European invasion and what we can do once again in the future. Seeing this in a book is totally different than visiting it. And more important is the fact that I'm aware also that this is my heritage. This is our heritage. If you're of Mexican, Central American, or Native American descent, this is our heritage. And I view this through those lenses, through that, in that context. It's like, we need to know about it. We, it's a crime that, that we haven't been told about it. And also it's like, it's like a crime scene because we know for a fact that more of this lies miles away from what you see here, immediately miles away from what you see here, but there ain't no effort on trying to to salvage it, to try to um, excavate it. So there's that factor. And then there's also the other factor of like encountering our people from down here who come here, who live here, and and view and them coming and viewing this as like, oh yeah, that's what the, the Indians did. That's what that's lo que, los, lo que ellos hicieron. And so it's like, I mean, we need to change the way we view this. We need to change. We're planting seeds through the internet. Since that's kind of the, the new communication tool for the world, that's where this is being uh, disseminated. So this is uh, the classroom. This is the, the inspiration for you. This is... Uh, the guidance for you. This is uh, something that we hope will get you to see things that you were not able to if see it, before. If it means you just concentrate on your family, that's a good good start. But from there, try to work on some people in the neighborhood. Share the materials with them. Share the 
the, the ideas, you know, that you've picked up. Maybe they don't want to read the, the website. Maybe they don't want to read the books. Show them some videos. Okay? Invite them over to your house uh, uh, for a party, you know, a, 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 a party of knowledge to discuss identity, why we're not Hispanic or Latino, to discuss the basic you know, heritage of our people, going back to the Olmecs and talking about the Mayas and talking about the Mexica and talking about Teotihuacan and then talking about the genocide that killed 95% of our people and how we're 5% that Do have something. survived. Take some actions, intelligent actions, like being part of the work that we're doing here with Mexica Movement. Meaning, okay, at least go to the website, read the material there. If you have a little bit more courage, come and join the, the, the work that we're doing. It's a lot of work. And if, you, if you're nowhere able to uh, be able to do the work with us, pass out the information to your friends, your family. Share that knowledge. Tell them you're not Hispanic, you're not Latino. And knock off this raza mestizo uh, nonsense also. And well, what do we call ourselves? We can say Nicantlaca. I'm Nicantlaca. Meaning I'm indigenous to this land. We need more people to get involved in what we're doing and what Mexica Movement is presenting, the vision that Mexica Movement is presenting. We need your help in helping us reclaim our indigenous identity.